Hey, a friend, Chris here from mylogicperrules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Sometimes the simplest things in life are the best. And sometimes when you're recording, songwriting, producing, you just want a quick and easy way to copy and paste a region or multiple regions or a section. So I want to show you how to do all this right now. Copy and paste, repeat, even loop. Let's dig into it. When it comes to copying and pasting, repeating and looping sections in Logic Pro, it really is as easy as can be. I want to show you how to do this with both the mouse as well as a couple key commands that are really effortless. And then this can become second nature and really be a dramatic improvement to your workflow. On screen, I have a riff that I've been playing around with in the live loops grid. As you can see right here, I have a couple scenes that I put together and I copy the first scene here over to the tracks area. Take a listen to the first couple bars of this riff and then we'll dig in. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that riff. At this point though, obviously I need to start expanding the arrangement. I need to start copying and pasting, looping, repeating, so I have more than just eight bars. The first line of defense anytime you wanna copy and paste a region is to hover your mouse over that region, hold option on your Mac's keyboard, and then click, hold, and then drag. And you'll see this plus icon pop up that indicates that you are now copying and pasting a region. Just like that, I was able to copy and paste this crushed 808 base region over to bar 14. So you can quickly copy and paste regions on the same track lane wherever you need them to be, but you can also hold option and then click, hold and drag to copy a region from one track to another. And the same can be said in the live loops grid. So if I show the live loops grid and I just wanna be sure to set the focus on the live loops grid, if I hold option and then click, hold and drag, I can copy a cell from one scene to another. Additionally, you can select multiple regions to copy and paste. So I've selected these two cells. Once again, hold option, click and drag. And the same in the tracks area. So I can make these multiple selections, hold option and boom. You may also notice I've looped certain regions in my riff. Looping a region is as simple as hovering your mouse over the right boundary of a region till your mouse's cursor turns into this icon that looks like a bracket with an arrow in a circle. And then you just click, hold, and drag to expand or reduce the loop section. And if we take a listen to this bell section, you can hear that the audio, as it passes over the region where I actually lay down an idea, it'll loop right back around. which is incredibly helpful to quickly pad out a section. And now when you hover your mouse over the loop sections, if your mouse is hovering over the region header, you can just click to adjust the loop length in a single click, exactly at the location where you want it to stop. Additionally, if we go to the region inspector, right up here on the left-hand side, inside the inspector, there's also a parameter to disable or enable looping. Now you can see that my region has been looped all the way to the end of the project which is right down here, ending at bar 129. By the way, if you ever decide that you want the loop sections to be their own regions that you can then manipulate the performance of, commit edits, or do anything different from the original performance here, just right-click on the looped region and go right down to convert and convert the loop sections to their own regions. All right, so this region is now separate from this one and I can make edits as needed. All right, so now let's talk about copying and pasting beyond just using the mouse and the option key. You can easily copy and paste any region using a simple key command that you have used in every other application on your Mac. That's simply to select a region, then hold command and press C to copy that region. And now you can place that region anywhere you see fit using the playhead and then pressing command in V to then paste your selection. You can also make a marquee selection so if I just click with my marquee tool right here at bar 21, press command and V again, I paste a copy of that region once again. Just be careful because depending on which track that you have selected, if I copy this region 
using Command and C and then press Command and V, I paste the region on a separate track lane. In this case, my drum track lane. So you do have to be cognizant of which track you have selected when you're pasting regions. But additionally, you can select multiple, Command and C, paste. And in this case, I've pasted the same two regions to the same two tracks despite the track that I have selected, which is my kick three sub. Same applies to the live loops grid. If we switch the focus, if I select this cell right here, Command and C, then select this empty cell right here, then press Command and V. Once again, I paste a copy into a new cell. And if I make multiple selections, and then right here, let's paste. Boom, look at that. All right, going back to the tracks area. Let's now talk about repeat, which is hands down my favorite way of copying and pasting in the tracks area. If you select a region and then press Command and R, you can repeat that region. So it's not looping, it's its own separate region. It's just been copied and pasted directly after the region you selected. Command and R again, I can copy and paste this region, but check it out. I'm gonna adjust the boundary of these two regions. Now selecting these three regions with the gap in between regions one and two and two and three. If I hold command and press R, all three regions are pasted directly after the third region with those gaps in place. But the best part of all is when you make a marquee selection. So I've selected from bar one to 17. This includes my H-Town Fire Drum Kit region. Hold command, press R. And that region is copied and pasted, including the empty bars between nine and 17. So the second region was not placed directly after the first region. Logic Pro compensated for the extra space in my marquee selection. So let's just say that I select this region, copy and paste it, select this guy right here, copy and paste, you know, and just kind of stagger them out a bit. Let me make a marquee selection and hold Command and press R. In this case, Logic Pro needs to know, do I want to split up the regions or keep them or shorten them? Let's say split. Look at that, beautiful. Or let's try out keeping. Just like that, you now have a handful of ways of copying and pasting regions, repeating regions, both with the mouse, holding a modifier, which is option in this case, or using key commands, which is as simple as can be. So go forth, enjoy copying and pasting and repeating and looping in Logic Pro. Logic Pro freaking rules. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, as always, please subscribe to Why Logic Pro Rules here on the channel or on the website. Be sure to check out the description below, which always has links to PDFs, templates, and guides to help you in your journey with Logic Pro. Thanks so much, and I'll see you for more next week. Take care.